با میشن بابا کی ساکار ملی ہے مارس ترٹی فرس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھی باب دادا مدو بھی ورزن ساب سی باب ایسنس آف دا مرلی سویٹ چلڈرن کیپ یور ٹیمپر ویری سویٹ ڈونٹ کاؤز اینی ون سورو ایون بائی مشٹیک بابا سے ایون بائی مشٹیک ڈوز ڈونٹ کاؤز سورو ٹو اینی ون ٹو سپیک بیڈ ورڈز ٹو گیٹ اینگری ٹو سکول سم ون آر آل are all ways of causing sorrow. Question. In what form does Maya set you children an examination and how can you remain unshakable during that examination? Answer. The main examination come in forms of lust and anger. It is very difficult to stop those two from chasing you. The evil spirit of anger repeatedly knocks on your door. So Baba says two are the main enemies, lust and anger. And anger also, Baba says, repeatedly knocks our door, door of mind and intellect. It watches to see whether you are barking at someone. Many types of storm come to shake the lamp. Lamp means soul. The way to remain unshakable during this examination is to have yoga with the father who is the almighty authority only way is to connect with him let the drums of happiness play inside you only this knowledge and the power of yoga can enable you to pass this examination only knowledge only and yoga pass the examination that is pass the storm of lust and anger no other way in this world song The war is between the weak and powerful. This is the story of the lamp and stones. Om Shanti. The father explains to children, understand that you have come once again to the father from beyond. So Baba is explaining so that we can understand. All the rest are the physical fathers. In the world, what we have, different physical fathers. At this time, everyone has a devilish intellect, whereas in the golden age, everyone has a divine intellect. After becoming devilish, you definitely have to become divine again. It is a rule of the drama, rule of the law of the nature, everything changing from old to new, new to old. <clears throat> so Baba says, you have to become divine again, no choice. There is a great deal of difference between being devilish and being divine, being impure and being pure. You know that you were lamp, sorry, you were pure, and that Ravan then made you impure. We were in the beginning pure souls. Slowly and gradually we came down and we became impure souls. We are now once again claiming our inheritance of the pure world, our fortune of the kingdom of the golden age for 21 births from the father. It is only when Baba tells you children that you remember it, but you then forget it. When something is remembered, the heart is eager to tell others about it. If it is not remembered, the heart neither has that desire to tell others, nor does that wave of happiness emerge the face would seem wilted. <clears throat> when we get the knowledge, when we get the experience, naturally, we have a desire to convey our happiness to others. It is our duty too. You know that we are now claiming our fortune of the kingdom of the golden age that we lost. The land that was lost to the Christians has already been reclaimed, but no one knows that it was Maya who snatched away your kingdom. Nobody knows. Whatever we get from the European, that is, you can say, only freedom. That is for the land. 
not the freedom of ourselves. There was no self-sovereignty. Swaraj, what Gandhiji was told, that was not the Swaraj. That was not the self-sovereignty, what democracy is. Because we can see the condition of Bharat now. Too much you can say everything. So, Swaraj, the self-sovereignty, he is sovereignty over the self. That is the real, you can say, freedom. This land has already been reclaimed from Christians by force and hunger strike, etc. There is no question of that here. Here, real self-sovereignty, we sovereign on ourselves, on all our senses. It is in your hearts that you are claiming your fortune of the kingdom once again, <clears throat> just as you did 5,000 years ago by following Father Srimad. <clears throat> Baba said, simply we have to repeat our part, nothing else. <clears throat> he doesn't instruct you to use the sword, etc. No physical weapons. He says, children, keep your temper sweet. Become very sweet. In the golden age, both the lion and lamb drink water together from the same pool. They live with one another with love. They do not attack anyone or cause sorrow, whereas here, there are many attacks of sorrow. To use the sword of lust is also an attack of sorrow. To say bad words to someone, to get angry and scold someone is also to cause that one sorrow. The father says, don't cause sorrow for anyone in this way. Make your temper very sweet. Do not do anything that causes sorrow for anyone even by mistake not by intention, even by mistake. It is said of Sri Krishna that he abducted many queens. Nevertheless, it is said that he abducted them in order to make them happy, not unhappy, or not for sorrow. You now know that it is not a question of Sri Krishna. The Bhagavad, the Bhagavad is connected to the Gita, and the Mahabharata war is also connected to the Gita because Mahabharata was also narrated in the Gita. So Gita is also narrated in the Mahabharata world. So Gita is connected to Mahabharata and Bhagavat is connected to Mahabharata. It is now that the same confluence age. There is no mention of Sri Krishna. The kingdom of Sri Krishna he is in the golden age, not in the confluence age. <clears throat> it is the story of the confluence age. And kingdom of Sri Krishna he is at the time of confluence age, but that world is totally different than the confluence age world. Sri Krishna did not tie Rakhis for changing impure ones into pure ones because he cannot come in impure world. So he cannot tie Rakhis to impure ones. That festival is for purifying the impure and it is the supreme soul, purifier and not the Sri Krishna who carries out the task, festival of Rakshabandhan. Sri Krishna took birth in the golden age, not in the confluence age or iron age, because confluence age and iron age are together. Golden age is separate. Everything is on the same time. That is confluence age at time only. 50 years on this side, 50 years on that side. But nobody knows. So Baba said we mix up because all the world were here. But what was the difference? Deity cannot come to the devilish world that is iron age world, and human being from the iron age world cannot go into the deity world. Otherwise, both worlds were together here on this earth only. But they have mixed up the world. They are not mixed up. There is a boundaries, boundaries of purity. That world is quite different than this world, impure world. <clears throat> so Baba clarified the same thing. It is the Supreme Father, Purifier, who carries out that task. Sri Krishna took birth in the Golden Age. Kans, Ravan, Supanka, etc. cannot exist there in the Golden Age. It is at this time that the community of devils exist. You now understand all of these things. It is in the, your intellect, it is in your intellects that you have studied Raj Yoga with the unlimited father innumerable times and claim a status in the kingdom for 21 births, and that you then lost your fortune of kingdom through Maya. <clears throat> the children who climb into the hearts of the mother, 
the father and the grandfather become worthy to sit on the throne. Your mother, father is Brahma Baba and Mama, grandfather to Shiva Baba. What status would those who are not obedient claim? You have to claim status in the Sun dynasty kingdom. Otherwise, you will become maids and servants who are only worth pennies. Some do not follow Bab the other directions. The instructions of Brahma are famous. Shiva Baba's Sarimat is also famous. Along with Brahma and Shiva Baba, the directions of their children should also be famous. You have to follow the directions of both Shiva Baba and Brahma because only then will you become elevated. In order to become elevated, the mother and father have such a good dharana. They teach all the children. All the children receive murlis. This one's part is to teach. Baba's part is to teach. There are some children who teach better than the mother and father, that is, Mama and Baba. There is no comparison to Sri Baba. We cannot compare with Sri Baba. He is the highest of all anyway. At this time, same, some of you children become cleverer than Mama and Baba. It is possible. There are so many persons, souls, who are reading better Murli in Hindi. We are already praising Sister Jugna is very, she is reading a very good Murli in Hindi. You are better than us. So there are children. Because their style, their way of presentation, their voice, that is quite effective. So Baba also says same thing. No one has become complete, one thorn or another continues to prick when Maya attacks. Storms come to lens. The more you stay in Jnana and Yoga, the brighter your lamps will remain this, uh, with this oil. When there is not much oil left in a lamp, its light becomes dim. <clears throat> the lamps of some remain burning very brightly. Storms come to souls, that is to the lamps. Storms will come, Baba say, it will come. As per our karmic accounts. Baba says, I am the one who is the number one in experiencing this Baba Mizdada. Maya becomes powerful with a powerful one. Everything is being faced more by Brahma, by Dada, than us. The father explains, O lambs, storms will come, but do not perform any sin through your sense organs. O lambs, we love lambs of soul, source of unlimited light. O souls, Storms will come, but do not perform any sin through your sense organs. If someone says anything, listen with one ear and let it out of the other. Let there be in they let there be this practice. If something is not related to us and they are doing something, why we should react? Anger completely destroys a person. That too is a big examination. The voice of anger comes and knocks on your door. It sees whether the soul is barking. As soon as someone begins to bark, the lamps goes out. Lamp means the power of soul goes out. Maya continues to set examinations for everyone, even for Brahma Baba, because he is the first soul who is getting all kind of storms from Maya. So everyone. It is understood for some that they didn't use to have anger, but that they now do have anger. Initially not, but now, because it is coming out from the sanskars. Baba had many good children, but they weren't able to tolerate the storms of Maya, and so they fell. It is then said that that is their fortune. They weren't able to withstand an examination, examination of Maya. You children have to remain as completely as unshakable as anger during any examination. Baba give example. Scriptures give example of anger. That too is an example because there is no such being as Anma, no such human being like Anma. It is a symbolic representation of us souls. Let the drums of happiness play inside you children. By having yoga with the father, the almighty authority, you automatically receive help. You do not use the power of weapons. Baba teaches you all the methods. Remember the father and your sins will be absolved. There are also different stages of anger. The evil spirit of lust is very bad. 
May the evil spirit of lust not enter anyone again. You have to use the power of yoga to remove it. Only power of yoga can remove the vice of lust. Nobody else can remove it. The evil spirit of anger is also removed by having yoga. All these it will be past number lust. It is must. Yoga is must. It knocks on your door again and again. I was talking about anger. Wherever it sees a margin, it enters. These five thieves, all, all Baba say first, Baba told lust, then Baba told anger, Baba now say all five, cause a great deal of loss within you. We used to be so wealthy. The five vices have made you poverty stricken. The leader of this is lust. Basically, the leader of everything is lust. The second number is anger. It is with great difficulty that lust, the child emperor, leaves you alone. Child emperor. It doesn't look, it doesn't, we cannot see it. So it is a child emperor. It is a very great enemy. It causes great distress. From that all comes. Poor innocent ones are bitten so much. You can't even bear to hear their complaints. It is only the one father who hears these complaints. However, Baba will only listen to the complaints of those who are honest, not of those who are false. Simply suppose some, some are telling for sake of telling, Baba say, Baba don't care about that. He will not listen. Therefore, these vices make human beings totally dirty. When the sickness of anger erupts in you, it not only destroys you, but even spoils the nourishment of others. Because whatever we are seeing, people are seeing it. It creates upheaval and stops those who want to come to take nourishment from Baba. People are seeing us, observing us. And if someone is going from their home, they will say, see, these people are going to Brahma Kumaris or they are not improved themselves. How these people from our family can improve so they will stop them to go. So Baba said they stop those who want to come to take nourishment from Baba. Bondage is imposed on them and their future income for innumerable birth is stopped. We are responsible because we made anger somebody seen and they have stopped others. How great would be the sins of those who put obstacles in front of ones claiming their inheritance from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Don't even ask. I was a punishment is great. Instead of having mercy on themselves, it is as though they are cursing themselves. Instead of mercy, they are cursing. If someone becomes a traitor, he causes a damage to so many. They experience, they, they experience obstructions in making their future lives like a diamond. This is why the father says, if you want to see a great sinners, see the titles, great sinners, great fools, and greatly unfortunate ones, you can see them here. Mahapapi, Mahamurk, and greatly unfortunate. If innocent things are printed in newspapers, it causes many difficulties for the poor mothers. If they know this and still do bad things, then how much punishment they would receive from Dharamraj? Baba cannot give punishment because he is an ocean of mercy. Dharamraj is inside the soul, printing sanskars. The father said, do not become traitors and perform such actions that innocent ones are beaten as a result. They are also known as furious ones. The temperature of the blood in their heads rises for so much that they would even pick up a sword and be ready to kill. Furious one means those who are believed, you can say strongly or you can say violently in that religion. In Hindi word, it is a completely different word, but there is no translation of that. They say religious yodha, dharma yodha means those who are killing somebody in name of religion. That is a furious one. That is the real word in the Hindi. So Baba says, the temperature of the blood in their head rises so much that they would even pick up a sword and they be ready to kill. No, what is happening in Islam nowadays? Terrorism. That is the same thing, what Baba is talking. 
they would then be hanged on the gallows. You know, they have put the Lord Christ on gallows. So they can do anything in the name of religion. Some here also become like that. <clears throat> when the vice of anger enters them, they stop so many from earning their income. The father says, what he says, the punishment for such souls is very severe. Those who become traitors and create obstacles accumulate huge sins on their heads. Those who ascend test of nectar of heaven, but if they fall, every bone in their body is crushed. Here, you can either become a master of heaven or a servant. Obviously, if we do, you can say good efforts, we will become a master of heaven, else servant. Those who perform such actions become such sinful souls. They become instrument to cause sorrow for many. Baba has great mercy on them. The mothers have to be given regard. It is said, salutation to the mothers. The father comes and places the urn of nectar on the mothers. Because when some brother are doing these kind of things, automatically it affects the mothers who are coming to the knowledge. Their household, you can hold her, they will not allow mothers to come to the centers. They are assaulted a great deal, and so a great deal of help has to be given to those long lost and now found children. <clears throat> if someone performs wrong actions instead of helping, so much damage is caused. You have to become extremely capable in order to change devils into deities. We have to become extremely capital first capable first for ourselves. Because self-transformation, without that, we cannot change the world. So Baba says, we have, we have to be extremely capable for self and for others. Baba creates your new portraits while you are alive. Baba creates our, you can say, portrait of deities. Artists paint portraits. And those who paint good pictures receive a price. This father says, I create such portraits of you with gyan and the power of yoga that after you leave your bodies, you will receive first class bodies, <clears throat> pure bodies. You will change from humans into deities. Through knowledge and power of yoga, you become so beautiful. There is no other first class craftsman such as Baba. He is the first class craftsman who are transforming human beings into deities. Nobody can do that thing. So he is the first class craftsman. It is the Baba. It is Father's task to transform humans into deities. This is the number one service through which the whole world is transformed. No one knows the sweet father. They say, they say that he is omnipresent. It is not in the intellects of human being that this impure world is hell. So nobody knows. This is only in the intellects of you children. The wealth of greatest millionaire is to turn to dust they will die in great sorrow because transformation will not wait for anybody. Nowadays, when strong animosity develops, even eminent people are killed, don't even ask. Very bad times are to come. Baba said, whatever time we are seeing, it is nothing. Even worse time, very bad time, then this will come. That is sure, whether we believe or not. So Baba said, worst time is very bad time are to come. You children are now making effort for the future. No one else make efforts for the future. However, while you are making effort, Maya makes you forget and you then become as you were before. Maya turns your faces completely away. Therefore, you have to take great care. To whatever extent possible, remember Baba with happiness. Feeling must be there. We are once again claiming our inheritance of happiness for our future 21 births from the father. And 21 births means this birth is also there. So we should be very, very cautious what we are doing. <clears throat> 
by remembering the father you will experience happiness people experience happiness when they see palaces etc with their eyes you understand through a divine vision or third eye of knowledge that you will receive your inheritance of happiness from the father for all time however that is only when you follow the father shrima this is the condition without following father shrima nobody can become you can say prince and princess he continues to question you children follow shrimat and become very sweet stay quiet and remember the father there is no there is no one in the world as fortunate as you children we are the most fortunate children but when when we follow the shrimat of baba <clears throat> you become masters of the world there is a great deal of happiness there it is also understood that those who study raj yoga now will be the ones who studied it in the previous cycle you see that guides do service and that they bring birds as well as flowers to the master to the master of the garden in return of their service they receive thanks means we are making others baba children knowledge is very easy the life is known as the most valuable one you change from stones into diamonds and from poor to wealthy it is remembered what is remember if you want to know about super senses joy ask the gops and gopis but which gops and gopis baba said that this is a huge lottery the father is the creator of heaven therefore it is very easy to remember the father and heaven it is no small thing to become the masters of heaven there is no other religion there you children have come to know that you have been seeing many different types of sorrow for half a cycle from the beginning of the coverage you should now make very good effort no one can be happy in this world because it is a world of sorrow so there is temporary happiness not a permanent happiness there everyone will be happy there is a great pleasure in claiming a high status in such kingdom of happiness you should not fall repeatedly by being slapped in the boxing in a boxing match if you indulge in vice you will be hurt very badly anger too he is very bad you should not hurt again and again baba says be strong don't fall otherwise you will fall if we hurt again and again ourselves with the vices baba says you fall acha to the sweet taste billboard long lost and now found children love remembers and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children love remembers good morning and says namaste to the spiritual father meethe meethe sikalati bachcho prati mat pita bab dada ka yaad pyar aur good morning rohani bab ki rohani bachcho ko namaste हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया एक्शन फॉर धारणा नंबर वन डू नॉट परफॉर्म एनी सच एक्शन दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ इट बीइंग ए ब्लेसिंग इट वुड बी ए कर्स ऑन यू मस बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट व्हाट वी आर डूइंग व्हाट वी आर स्पीकिंग फर्स्ट डूइंग देन स्पीकिंग एंड देन थिंकिंग because first we have to come in dharana in doing then you can say speaking and then in thoughts do not become a traitor under the influence of any kind of evil spirits point number 2 follow shrimat and become very sweet stay quiet speak with a very sweet temper never become influenced by lust or anger blessing may you constantly be an image of cheerfulness and second stay beyond any attraction of good or bad how to do it with your sanskars of easiness so sanskars of easiness will lead to become a cheerful and become beyond or stay beyond any attraction so baba explains make your sanskar so easy that you remain easy while performing every task no reaction Action should be there, but no reaction. 
response will be there, but no reaction. If your sanskars are tight, circumstances will also become tight. As we think, so shall we become. And you will then have tight interactions in your relationship and connections. Tight means to be caught in struggle. Therefore, before three days, I think Baba told me, tight means you are not able to remove or you are not able to come out of it. No, when tight clothes are there, it is very difficult to remove. Same way, tight sanskars, it creates a struggle. Therefore, with sanskars of easiness and observing every scene of drama, stay beyond any attraction of good or bad. Do not let any goodness or anything bear attract you. So wherever mind is attracted, we have to watch it. Mind, words, and actions. You will then remain cheerful. Slogan, those who are full of all attainments are ignorant of any knowledge of desire. If we have everything, there is no need of any desire. Acha, Om Shanti.